Howdy. We Howdy. are Beauty, Beauty School, School Dropout. Dropout. Beep, 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 beep. And this yeah. is and and this is out of pocket. Out of pocket. Boop, 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 boop. And today we have our special guest Jutes. Hello. I also, have to, or Jute I have to dollar. come out of the gate. Jute dollar, <laughs> dollar sign. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing that I've ever seen about you is that it really became a thing it's a like, it's dollar a it's amazing I, I gotta come out of the gates bro I fucking hate you right now because every song you're dropping <laughs> is like sincerely pissing me off that I didn't write it <laughs> sleepyhead when you hit me and you were like I'm pissed I bro. was like that's like I get that so much as like a songwriter and an artist that yeah. I was like that's like the best compliment Dead someone ass. else can be like they're like I'm pissed we I'm talk like about you a lot sitting at night in my car just like gripping the steering wheel while sleepyhead <laughs> plays I'm like Thank you. I that was actually doing like oh. decent for as far as my releases go. That one's doing the best. It deserves. It's time. incredible, incredible. Dude, I think it's cool too. Like a lot of people, I feel like will say like they're like genre mashing, mm. and it doesn't sound like either of them. It just sounds like a song. And you're like saying like neighborhood and Deftones, and I feel like you're really like nailing that. Nailing it. And oh, thank I you. love both of those bands. So it's yeah. like, how could I not fucking love the shit you're making? They're both like the cultiest fan bases yeah yeah truly and truly just amazing bands <clears throat> it's all vibe shit yeah. yeah it's like different ends of rock but like different just ends the of the vibe, vibe spectrum i think it's, it's cool too because it's like vibe. it's sexy yeah not to be weird no it's it's, about it, it is, is super like, sexy that's the vibe that's yeah. why there's other bands that like sound like deftones but there's something about deftones that just makes them the sexiest one yeah 100 yeah. percent. chino's voice makes me come it's crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. So whispering lit. like this in your mic. Yeah, whisper screams. Oh my god. They're just so, <laughs> so, undeniably them. Yeah. That you cannot hear a Deftone song and not be like, oh yeah, that's Deftone. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. Fire. Saucy. Love that. Dude, what, what's up with your life? What's cooking? Good looking. Um. Yeah, you look fucking hot. Just me hitting Damn. on you for an hour. Yeah. Nice, I'll take it. Yeah, you good. have a very uh, dilfy essence of, of about yourself. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 33, but I'm like, I guess, kind of healthy. So I bet you smell amazing. We're approaching dill. Like sex. <laughs> no, no, no. Auto. When he says dilf, it's <laughs> dude, I'd like to fuck. <laughs> oh, I thought it was dad. <laughs> no, it is no, dad. No, I'm oh. saying, no, I, I was nice. saying dad. I'm just he's joking. Like, he's Josh. I'm no, Josh. I'm yeah. Deftones, I'd like to fuck. Who's Josh, dilf. by the way? Josh? Yeah, you were saying. How did he I'm coin the I'm Josh? I'm Josh. Oh, ha. Oh God, I don't know. I'm just Drake and Josh and you. <laughs> just Drake and you. Ooh, hits different now. It's different now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Dicey. Yeah, that face Ooh. for real. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Did someone <laughs> fart or is that? <laughs> I like Dicey. the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody better. Mm. Mm. They was, were they're nice boys. Sauce. I like them. They're nice. They're funny. They're I feel like they actually turned out normal. Miss Tipton, you know, she was a hit. I, I didn't watch her. any of that. Really? No, as really? a kid. What no, was your shows? I feel like I was just getting like corrupted. Like I watched like Howard Stern and weird shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like a little kid. Yeah, yeah. I, like I, I liked South Park. That was the cartoon I liked. Was Did South you like Park. Ren and Stimpy? Uh, not really. Or is no, the like, Cowardly memory. Dog? No, that show fucked me up, bro. I, I liked like that Dexter's shit. Laboratory. Yeah, that's, that's a so fucking so classic. Old Cartoon one. Network was just Johnny Bravo. Oh, Johnny yeah. Bravo was fire. Was cool. I was big on like Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Yes. I've never even heard of that. What? What? Yeah. Oh, that one's the best I want one. That. I really Canada is they did just didn't have well, it. Well, no. See, so like... I actually had America. I had direct TV. Okay. My dad built like a tower in our backyard. I lived on a farm, so we had Flyer. to like we could just do whatever we want. Yeah. And he legit built because we had dial up like years past everyone else getting um whatever cable whatever you call it in it. And he built a tower so that we could have high speed, and then steal direct TV from America. That's tower. awesome. <laughs> steal. What direct part TV. of Canada are you from? Uh, I'm from Ottawa, like outskirts. It's actually a place called Cars with a K, K A R S. And Cars. You can't even look up the population on Google because it's so small. That's so really, crazy. That's yeah, crazy. it's tiny. How it's did like, you even? I was like on a dirt road, like on a 300 acre farm. Were you, were you and, like, like really doing cow. farm work? Like, would you milk the cows? No, we never had cows. So technically okay. speaking, it was a ranch because uh, I think okay. farms grow crops. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think definitively that makes it a what, farm. What's a ranch then? A ranch is we had horses. My dad would just like randomly buy like exotic chickens so we had like all these chickens <laughs> from all over the world that my, were like my father's exotic cock collection <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you definitely gotta start saying cocks not chickens yeah exotic cocks <laughs> everywhere my dad just buy cocks all over the lawn <laughs> wow we had a turkey <laughs> we had emus like random shit yeah emus are dope, did you eat though. the eggs one time they're apparently, huge they're, they're like this big and they're green they also, look like dinosaur eggs yeah apparently um 
I get are ostriches emus technically? No, they're, they're diff- bigger. They're different animals. But they're like, different animals. Okay, but do you know ostrich burgers are a thing? The yeah. only bird that's yeah. red meat. No it's way. crazy, and yeah. apparently it's like I think, super I actually right. really healthy for you. Like it's like really like low. Probably lean as It's fuck. super lean, but it's red meat and it tastes amazing. We had an ostrich burger in England when we played Download Festival, and they had ostrich burgers there, and they're really good. But it's red meat. It is yeah. red meat. It's crazy. Yeah. They actually like that's there was like this wild. whole thing where they were trying to make it like a more popular thing, like food. I think right. it was in the '90s. Or yeah, but the yeah. problem was is they're so hard to like raise because they're right. so big and like they, yeah, those like, fuckers those can run fast, off, bro. They're dinosaurs. They're like they're literally, they're literally dinosaurs. Yeah. They're like escaping straight up. They like ostriches well, everywhere. <laughs> they like insane. the emus would like kill their babies. That's like crazy. they would have babies. First of all, the like, babies sometimes would die because like, it's winter in Canada and they're just not even supposed egg. to be there. Yeah, but if they did make it past like being born. Sometimes the parents, like, often would kill them. And then two grew older and, like, killed the parent. Like, they're Whoa. really primitive. Yeah. It's, Damn. It's fucked up. That, yeah. Um, that makes sense why they're hard to pretty fucking <laughs> mass produce. And my grandpa was, like, my grandpa was, like, a cowboy cowboy. Like, still rocks a cowboy hat. Like, in, in rodeos and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, a super cowboy. But super one time, one of them got out and was running down the road. And he was on a horse and lassoed no it. No way. Wow. And hey, brought it you back. You can ride them, though, can't you? I've never tried. <laughs> that, I, I would seen, be scared because they would fuck you up. Ostrich like they wrangling. jump and kick you with both feet. Like, really? It's nuts. No <laughs> way. Yeah, it's wild. They're, they're almost as scary as kangaroos. Oh, yeah. Kangaroos are so kangaroos aggressive. Kangaroos are like fucking, they I, look like Lou Ferrigno with a tail, bro. Yeah. It's fucking the video, insane. It's always like the Australian dudes like straight up boxing. <laughs> yeah. Them, like really Dude, fighting them. We should get Alex Terrible to go fight a kangaroo. Yo, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Because he fights bears, but. They don't look as aggressive as a kangaroo. That's just Wait, he fights like wild bears. He like wrestles. He has a bear, I think, that he wrestles with. Yeah. It's okay, like, so it's, it's like, his bear that his isn't. Bear. Like, I think so for sure. There's no way this guy's like to wrestling know the bear. random bears. But winning. he could. But it is crazy. Like, like there's a video of them. They're going back to back on this, or just like sparring almost. But you hear this thing growling, and you're like, damn, that's fucking scary. And it's literally him. It's him growling. It's him growling. Nah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. He's, Who is this guy? He, he's, this internet uh, dude. The uh, he's the frontman of Slaughter to Prevail. They're like a really heavy like death metal group. Okay. But he is They're just Russia, so right? almost yeah. Oh, he's yeah. from Russia. So that right? I mean you gotta be Russian. Fools just like got that. like the most insane like he has a bear crazy dogs yeah. guns it, he's just like full of the most fucking Russian. bare the knuckle boxer Russian, he does bare knuckle boxing like seriously. Of course. And it's so fucking hard. Dude his dude. like his claim to fame is that he'll like scream at a festival with no mic and people in the back are filming it, and it sounds like he has a mic. Whoa. This dude is, yeah. like, the hardest motherfucker there yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> shout, out, shout out Alex from he's like, Alex he's the like Terrible. He's, like, Chuck Norris, if Chuck Norris was in a death metal band. <laughs> he's <laughs> fucking dude. He's Honestly, so he's sick. Chuck Norris he's so metal. sick, He's the bro. 10X Chuck Norris. <laughs> Loki's Whoa. way cooler than Chuck Norris. Way Chuck cooler. Norris is kind of a pussy, if you think about it. He's, like, old and shit. <laughs> what, has he, what has he done? What bears has he fought in the last five years? No, That's he's true. just the lore. Chuck Norris, out. Alex, Alex is terrible. terrible in. And, and it's sick. Chuck Norris is so last season. So Jute Dollar. <laughs> what's 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 Jute. next for you? So I'm rolling out an EP right now. Um I'm independent and definitely trying to stay independent. Love I, that. I just have like a distro situation. But uh I'm rolling out an EP until I feel like the world really wants a full album from me again. I'll probably do singles and package them as EPs because it seems to be easier to push. Um, Is everything kind of staying in this world of like the dark, sexy kind of? Yeah. Um, you yeah. Lie, like Sex and Palo Santo is definitely like slightly heavier than Sleepyhead. So yeah. there's like they kind of sway, but like it's all that same. Sure. Yeah. It feels like vibe. it has a common denominator, which is cool. Yeah, we just kind of like, it's funny because I made an album in like, I had a couple of songs already, but then like in December, I pretty much made a full album Mm -hmm. in like a couple of weeks. And it was more, I was like talking to some labels that were like rock, rock labels. Mm -hmm. So it was more pushing like active rock, Mm. which isn't really like my kind of cup of tea all the way with like rock music like i don't listen to a lot of active rock yeah but it was definitely leaning that direction and then one day i think i was just like let's just fuck around and like fuck all this and just make some new shit Mm. 
And we were kind of like nerding out on the production um, from the neighborhood, but then also Lana Del Rey's early shit, same producer. Totally. So like we were like- Same samples. Yeah, we were like, <laughs> this guy created some crazy vibes. Yeah. So we were like, let's do that. But then like also obviously obsessed with the Deftones. So just threw that in there. And then we were like, wait, this is mm. way cooler than the whole album we just made. So I love that for you though. Really yeah, cool. I might try to like fucking- take parts of some of the songs that I made, but yeah, now I'm just kind of like trying not to give myself too much to think about. Cause if I'm like, Hey, I'm going to do an album. Then I like start being a perfectionist. Now I'm just like making a song and I'm like, is this the next one I put out yeah. cool. and just putting it out. I love that. Did born to lose come out? Yeah. 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 I was going to say that I'm came out, I think on, it the came tour, out right? on the tour. Yeah. 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 Love when I started song. playing it, too. I had been teasing it, mm -hmm. but it didn't come out until Dude, maybe midway. Ever since you started teasing it, that hook, gets stuck in my head it's oh it's funny because i almost changed it because i thought it fe it felt too country really really interesting i was like does it feel country no like the, i was born to lose like i was it like am i when you do singing that. it country like i kind of sing it like a little different than my other shit so that was the first one that i was like <laughs> So that's, what, what the fuck? Like, where did this come from? Everyone was like, just leave it. It's fire. Yeah, yeah. Like, it is fire. They were like, just let it be what it is. Insane. And then everything after that, I've just been like, can I do some classic <sighs> podcast shit? On that note, let's play Born to Lose. Ah. Hey. Uh, and we're back. That was wow. Born to Lose. That song uh, was amazing. I fucking love that Amazing. Song. Uh, Thank you, boys. Just like our guest, Jude's today. Jude dollar sign. Walk me through <laughs> your lore a little bit, just because I'm actually pretty unfamiliar with, like, like, I okay, this is what I do know, is I remember almost four years ago we met, I don't know if you're still working together, Mike? Is that your manager? Mike, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we met Mike because he was kind of saucing our management on, like, strategy and right. rollout, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was telling were us. Were you guys more, pre you were, like, before you guys started doing the band, you were producing and writing for a lot of people, right? Kind of, we always he, had the he, band, but, like, that was kind of an angle when there wasn't, like, COVID was a thing. You know what I mean? Right, we were just right, like, right. well, fuck it. We're just going to write for a bunch of people. We were to also prior to that. Because, like, I was writing for people. He was producing for people. He was moving out here. First time I heard of you was definitely through some writer. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. that's that just what sense. picked up faster in LA. Got you. That was how we were finessing a lot of our early looks was like we yeah. would get A&R into these publisher sessions, blow the team of the artist away. They'd yeah. be like, oh my God, we need you to keep doing records. But then most of the times, like neither of us would sign or the publisher would do their own thing or whatever, right? right? right. And so like that kind of tricked a lot of the uh, early like industry buzz into our court, which yeah. is cool. Sick. Um, but yeah, that was also very much so how we heard of you was like, through that, and I think at the time, Mike was even saying that you had this rollout plan to drop a song like almost every week. I did drop a song a week for like four months, I want to say. That is ridiculous, yeah, bro. That what? was after I got yeah. off Capitol, and I was like really depressed on Capitol. I thought I had like <laughs> yeah. ruined my life. Yeah. Because yeah. really? I signed for like four albums. They said the first one could be two EPs because I was like, yo, no one wants an album. No one knows who I am. It's crazy how often we hear that. Yeah, and then I put out two EPs, and then they were like, psych, Damn, <laughs> doesn't wow. count. And I was like, whoa, I'm running out of money here. And then yeah. they were like, too bad. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. After and then two COVID EPs, hit. you're running out of money for four albums. Yeah, I mean, well, that I'm supposed to get more of my advance after every album. Oh, they it unlocks more okay, of the it was advance. Like that and they were just like, we're not counting it. Give us another album. And I was like, wait. I was also done with my money. I had zero money before that. It's the first time yeah. having any kind of substantial sure. anything. The so classic. I was like, oh, yeah, it's never going to run out. And yeah. So by the end of a year and a half that took it, that took to take uh, put out two EPs, I was like, yo, guys, if this doesn't count, like, I don't have, like, another whole album yeah. cycle. But anyways, um, COVID happened, and they were they let a lot of people go and they were like, we don't know what the budgets are like. We're not gonna be able to push you any harder than we did last time. Mm -hmm. If you want to go, you can go. And I was like, I do want to go. And then I was just kind of like, ah, I'm free. So I was like, I have like so much shit just sitting on my phone, like hundreds and hundreds of songs. Yeah. So I just started putting one a week out. And when did you sign with Capital? I'm so bad with dates. I have like no perception of time. Probably 2019. If I had to guess, I moved okay, to so LA 2018. I got like a distro deal probably like three months, four months after moving. Then got off Taro's couch, got an apartment, and then signed to Capitol within a year of moving to LA. So probably 2019. Cool. How long were you doing music before 
moving to LA? Because I'm assuming you moved to LA for music, yeah? Yeah, I yeah. was doing music in Toronto. Um, I moved from Ottawa to Toronto after high school. Went to film school. In film school in my first year, I was just like, ah, love film but hate school. Yeah. So then started, got like, I mean, I started with my like laptop webcam microphone sure. and then garage okay. band and all that. Got it. Kind of was like jokingly doing it, making like joke rap songs. Mm-hmm. And then was like, wait, I actually like, Everyone thinks it's a joke, but I'm like, I don't really, I'm not really joking. Like, yeah. this is pretty fire. So then it's I just kind of dropped. Joke. <laughs> it's not that big of a joke, you guys. It, you know? <laughs> but then I just dropped out and started pursuing it full time and like bartending and playing gigs yeah. in Toronto. What's, what was the Work scene out. like in Toronto when you were like doing that? It was, so I was like rapping. It was like hip hop R&B because I was, I didn't have any producer friends, so like it was like type beats on YouTube and yeah. it was like whatever the hottest sound at the time is. So like weekend travis scott drake whatever Mm -hmm. that's where the best beats are like that vibe is gonna have probably have the most selection so i was kind of going off what like the hottest shit was at the time but scene wise it was like it's it's really come up since i've left but i wasn't making rock music so i have no idea what Hmm. the rocks you grew up listening to rock but then hip-hop so i my dad was a drummer um in like a christian rock band Sick. And he raised me on rock, but it was like Guns N' Roses, and yeah. like Motley Crue, and stuff like that. And then Guns N' Roses is a Christian rock band, right? <laughs> I, there's no way. Are they Christian? <laughs> Probably. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I'm I'm like, I'm talking with you. <laughs> oh. I, I did. I did get Benson booned on the way over here when I started listening to the lyrics of "Beautiful Things." I was like, this whole thing is literally just about like God, Jesus blessing him. Is no it? Way. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't actually. Like, but it's, it's, like, it's like the whole first <laughs> <laughs> chapter of it. It's like listing all, Jesus the, all the amazing things he has, nuts. and that he's like falling in love with this girl. But like, God could just as easily take all of it away if he wanted. Wow, bro. What's the what? Flyleaf is also yeah. Christian. Yeah, there's a bunch really? of crazy. And then you like, listen to that deep, song. What's their What's their big song? Um, I'm so sick. No, I feel all you say Flyleaf. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can feel you all around me. It's like low-key this jesus love song or like mm-hmm. jesus Whoa. like there's like a bunch of bands me. like that though like <laughs> devil wears prada <laughs> christian rock band christian no, metal band are they christian rock band what deems someone a christian rock band like does the lyrical content have to be christian or is it just or are you christian the band being christian? Christian? Yeah, well, like yeah like, if you're like... just religious is that like all of a sudden you're a religious band or is it like well i don't know because killers i gotta a imagine killers that, is mormon the content but they're not though like they don't like brandon flowers is just mormon They'd, I don't think that counts. That I doesn't feel like count. everyone's fucking religious yeah, in America. Yeah, but so I it's feel like, like it's like the band self-identify. And they have to have songs about God. That's yeah. got to be the thing. Because like, Reliant K was like one of the they first They were band. a Christian rock band. They were truly, but like. Is Switchfoot? K is for Switchfoot Christian. Is, yes, yeah. Yeah. Switchfoot is. Switchfoot is, is, Switchfoot is definitely sure. a Christian rock band. Okay. Yeah. They were like the big church band in San Diego. But really? that's so yeah. I feel like it's all based on like the Switchfoot scene you come out of and then like. Like uh, they, uh, I think they self-identify as like a Christian rock band. Like, yeah, I guess if you label yourself it, and if you don't, it's got to your song's got to be about God. Or yeah, shit like that. Mm-hmm. But there is a huge lane for that shit. It's just crazy. Oh, oh yeah, bro. Are you kidding? The fucking you go play. Churches, it's got to be like the sneaky Christian rock shit. bands though, because like if it's like blatant like Christian rock, sneaky Christian. Well, rock. that's but, like Switchfoot. You're like what? Switchfoot. Sneaky. I, feel I like, don't know a lot of their songs though. I know <laughs> like the hits. Christian Christian rock. Rock. Really? Where you're like, we're not no Christian way, rock. We're sneaky crazy. Christian rock. But they like <laughs> became more open about it, and I feel like they like fell off almost because they went too deep. Right. Whereas like if you're like subtle, same with Reliant K. They yeah. were like subtle, sneaky. Yeah. And then you get you know, more you know. into it. Yeah, and then they stopped having hits. It'd be like a Nathan for you thing to like start a band, but it's all dudes named Christian. And we're a Christian. <laughs> and like they only play churches, <laughs> but they're not actually Christian. That's crazy. They're just we're cashing we're off Christian it. Rock. Dude, yeah. Back to Jute Dollar. Uh, your journey as like an artist has been like crazy. Long. Long. Like you've gone through like so many eras. Like yes. even like the first time. I don't even know when I first met you. I don't know when we met. We you- just. I feel like we just knew each other. Yeah, because you guys look fucking identical. Honestly, <laughs> that, well, it's like Ryan, I remember, was like... I want to say that someone, when I went to a show with her and Demi, someone was like, I met you two before. It was like a security guy, and she was like, no, nah, there's another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was said, like, wasn't that the turnstile show? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, I need to take Jutes on tour with me so I can be closer with my boyfriend. <laughs> you guys should start, like, 
twinning up and and doppelganging people. Like you go you, do something you in you a actually, store. Wait, Even our hair. That's what you should have done on tour. Is the shows that you went to? You should have like come out, out <laughs> first and yeah. just wearing the exact dudes. same outfit. Especially like because I feel like. You and I are the one of the few people that, like, at least I know that have like full color American traditional. Yeah. Like, and we have the double neck tattoos. Yeah. And like, not even gonna lie to you, I'm about to get a heart tattooed on my face too. I like your style. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, bro. Like what if you guys bro. kissed right now? It would be crazy. That'd be wild. It'd be crazy. I can't move from this chair because I have a boner. But. Um, <laughs> Uh yeah, Steve's. I love that. That's gotta I, be the that's gotta be the thumbnail. Yes, <laughs> Jutes, Jutes and beef and Jutes shit. squared. <laughs> you but know I'm down. I'm down too. I love you. Uh, I'm always I'm down to you, kiss bro. you, bro. But like, yeah, back to what I was saying is like, what, what dro- Like you started hip hop, but you grew up on rock, and yeah, then you so went all the way. Through I went this. to. Hi- I started listening to hip hop when I started playing basketball. Basketball kind of became my life. I was obsessed with music, but it never ever occurred to me to make music because mm-hmm. I didn't play anything and I couldn't sing for shit. So I was like, "What was your first show ever?" It was like a charity event in Ottawa. Um, it was like a fuck cancer charity event in like a community center, and it was like middle of summer. It was so hot, so humid. And me, it was just me and my guitar player, and we like bought these matching like Marlboro jackets. Yeah. Fire. So we just had our jackets like zipped up, these red like rain jackets and Tough. this weird thing. And I was just straight up rapping, and he was playing guitar and like singing the hooks with me. Sick. Um, was there like beats behind it or just guitar and you? Yeah, I would just make them to beats, and then he would just like play guitar over. Huh. That's sick. That's like, fire, I, though. It was like off my phone probably or something. Yeah. Like the <laughs> nah, lit. Just, That's like, sick though. Yeah, but then I went to um, Toronto and played a bunch of shows there, like opening for any rappers that would come to town type shit. I opened for Mod Sun. My first show in Toronto, my first real show was opening for Air, A E R, mm. Mod Sun, and Cisco Adler. That was the bill. And then Crazy. Wow. Hey. That was my first wow. time on stage. And I was like, whoa. And like, That's it was a like a G Unit talent scout. That saw me and was like, I want you to come to this showcase to, like, get signed by G Unit, and we did it as a joke because we yeah. were like, bro, what? That's yeah. crazy. And it was like all these like G Unit style rappers, and then like me and my homie, doing like kind of like pop rock rap. Did shit. they try and sign you to G Unit? They encored us, so we went like third of twelve, and then after twelve, they had us come back and do more, and they were like, "That's real music," and we yeah. were like, "We just shut it down." <laughs> That's crazy. That's but, so sick. Yeah, but we were like, obviously, like we just did it for the story because yeah, we're like, we can't not go to play at the G Unit showcase. Yeah. That's do you have any so more tours sick. coming up? No, so that's the thing is I'm kind of like it's tough because being indie and a solo artist, I'm like every time I tour as an opener. Yep. I'm for sure losing money, just like no matter what I do. Yeah. I feel like that's not a conversation that's had enough, especially like there's this irony as an artist where I think as having a fan base, oftentimes fans are kind of just think that you're like well off or that right. you're chilling and like, right. it, you know, whatever. I know we've gotten our comments and it's like, it's so funny because people have no idea how fucking expensive touring is. Everything's and like, so expensive. Dude, it's when you're funding that yourself, it's like, it's not. No way, bro. There's I mean, no way. For context, too, like we fund our tours, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we don't have to pay our, each other. Yeah, like, yourself. Yeah. We're doing it on like the future right. reward. And yeah. so our band is paid for because we're doing it and for free. And that's the thing, free. like really exactly. grinding it out with yeah. a band. Everyone's just on the same page. Like when I toured, I was with like my homies. Yeah. And they're like, as good to me as any musician would be as far as like doing more than they're paid to do yeah. and wearing a bunch of different hats. Yeah. And we're all like homies and want to take this thing to a higher level and they know what it is, but it is nuts. Like getting a sprinter, paying everyone per show, feeding everyone. Totally. A couple hotel rooms every night. It's so flying not out. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. And like yeah. as an opener, like even at like a, high level it's like not that much money it almost yeah. is harder to at a high level because you get paid a little bit more but like the logistics of everything become yeah no it's so intense it's so fucked because like for the fans that don't understand is like everything you see 
costs money every part of everything. every single everything. and like especially solo artists like i always talk to solo artists about mm-hmm. it i'm like i am jealous of like certain aspects of you because like you get to see through like your creative vision right, like, right and you right. don't have to bounce it off anyone which i think is like wh- one of the reasons that i love bands but also but like you get to you have to pay for everything everything mm-hmm. And it's like, that's why I honestly went and signed a publishing deal. I'd held out on a publishing deal um, for so long and was kind of like, I want to hit before I go and sign this pub deal. Mm -hmm. But I got like some good offers. So I was like, okay, if I want to stay indie, I got to fucking make like a fat bag to to be able to go on tour and do all the things like... Mm -hmm even just fronting money for merch and anything like yeah but your merch is fire and i love that you make it your shit is nuts thanks you do a lot of people's merch now right i do a lot of people's merch now and that like that happened fast i feel like i I, feel like one day you're like yeah it's got photoshop like i'm just kind of learning next day everyone's like yeah like beavis made this yeah i've been doing a lot it's fucking fun i'm excited i like doing other people's shit because also makes me better for us yeah Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. i just like doing a lot of different shit like, I like not just making music every day, but, like, sitting on Photoshop and, like, making designs. And yeah, like, that's the fun of it's that's fun. the fun of doing the shit yourself. Is yeah. You yeah. get to, like, you get to have that control. Yeah. And just I, do it, whatever you want and just wing it. And feeling like, I don't, like we're still, like, small artists in the, like, landscape of things. Like, I think it's cool to, like, have other outlets of art that make money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, even, like, songwriting, I would have that fall under like you write songs for yourself but then you go I think a songwriting is like write songs for other people my like, job yeah and the music thing like if I'm like if I can support myself off the songwriting shit then I don't have to compromise anything with the music I can just be like this is the shit I like the most yeah, so yeah. I'm just gonna do that and it still and feels then, fulfilling mm-hmm. yeah cause you're making art yeah which is the fucking But it's like totally dream. different ends of like different sides of songwriting. But it's cool. So I think different. writing in for others is great. Kind of like what we said, it's like it helps you sharpen your your blade yeah. on other people's shit, find out what other people are doing, what people want. Yeah. You know, and then be like That's why I think cool my thing. sound is always kind of like just like super changing and yeah. cuz I'm just working with so many different people on their vision, but then I might be like, "Oh, that was a crazy vibe we just touched." And then go back and be like this little thing kind of inspired me and then it like morphs to sound yeah i think it's supposed to be like a spy yeah you're like you're like a spy because loki like writing with someone is like being a therapist yeah Yeah. like Mm -hmm. what's going on in your world i feel like people don't realize like the especially like the blind date shit like how bizarre that is it's a job it's hard oh it's crazy like it's like socially just constantly you're like meeting a group of new people and then making a thing with them someone and in an like office really somewhere is like yo we should put these two people together because they would probably make something cool go and over it to doesn't their... matter if it's weird for that person <sighs> yeah. who made it they're just like go and like, try like what's they, the worst but they happen? get rewarded off of just setting it up yeah and so then they're like cool go do it yeah go over to their house here's their address and you're like okay yeah you pull up to their you crib, <laughs> pull their crib yeah. and they're like but then most of the time they're cool you yeah. just kind of go like I assume you go and like yeah they're probably gonna be cool and sometimes it's not cool sometimes it's fucking weird yeah sometimes it's weird really sessions bad. are like I I hate it I have a bad like not the ability to just kind of brush it off and be like whatever it's just one day like when I'm in it I'm actually like fuck like I this think we've had weird. maybe two to three actually bad sessions in our entire career of being a band together you and know it's actually hilarious for you or like. Like in general, total, in even you guys writing for others, both just all together. I Whoa. think we've only had like collectively maybe three or four bad sessions where it was like, it's like ooh, ten. ooh. Yeah. and there was it was the there was one this last like two weeks where we oh, all no just were like, you know, okay, we're oh a band, right? So we're God. like all in there and we're like Bro. giving each other the eyes and like texting each other. And this is a session for you guys. For us. I for was, us. dude, Beepus, oh, I love you, but you were killing me because <laughs> <laughs> we were trying, this guy was trying to get me to do vocal takes and in my head I'm like, just fucking get something to paper so we can leave. Like, oh, I'm just trying yes. to dip. And Beepus yeah. kept being like, oh, wait, I want to hear you, like, and you're like, do shut this. The I'm like, dog, no, just get the fuck. No, I the was bag. trying to just, to just say it's good. I was like, let's go I was home, trying to get bro. it to fucking, to, to, to be a take that he wanted so that way it could be done. And I was Full like. didn't even know what he wanted. He's like, wait, okay, now do it like this. And he'd be like, he would, like, construct me on how to sing it. 
or like how to sing what he wanted me to sing. I'm like, bro, I don't. What you're suggesting is ass right now. Like, this is my that song. That shit's by the way. so weird but, when but people do that. I'm totally. always like, nah, I don't need you to vocal produce me and tell me to sing different than what I'm doing. It got to a point where, but dude, Bardo almost snapped at him and started talking some shit. It was just like, yeah. dude, what the fuck? I'm the bad cop. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> but then <laughs> gotta have one. We were like, Cole started just playing something else, and he was like, let's start that idea. And I was like, I gotta go. Yeah, nah. <laughs> he literally just up and left. He's I, like, uh, like, yeah, actually, I have to leave. I have homies at Irish goodbye, and then we'll like just text after, like, oh man, I feel sick. Like they'll just sneak out because they're actually like, no, I can't. That's it's, great. I, I'm actually it's kind of amazing. There hasn't been more weird session. We've had a couple. Yeah, you guys are lucky like, if it's just two or three. We, yeah, like yeah. we've written a ton. We write all the time. We have sessions all the time mm-hmm. for us and others. So we're like, there's always something happening. But it's pretty amazing, even just like how like. The subtlety of like they may have just not gone to sleep that night. Like it, right. you're like there's so many variables of like and how I feel like you guys being back. a team, mm-hmm. like tag teaming mm-hmm. stuff, and you guys having chemistry that definitely helps. Immediately it like does. raises the chemistry of the room. No, so that, it's like that if helps. one per- but if I'm going in and it's like weirdness, and then yeah. I'm like, damn, we're all kind of weird yeah. right now. <laughs> like no. no one's on this. You know, it was yeah. actually hilarious. A, a a bad session that we had was with Royal. That, that and that's how we met. That was no actually way. Like, oh yeah, that yeah. Was the one because we got. I mean, she's told. She's will tell a story too. It's like right. the same thing. Like it's not like she knows exactly what I'm about to talk about. But like the, it was we got set up to this session. It was me and Cole and our homie Pink Slip and Inverness was there, right? I think so. Yeah. And then Royal and the a vibe was like, she was you know had her thing with with overwhelmed whatever and right. and we're like cool let's make and then we'd all meet, meet for the first time right go over to his house hanging out whatever she's there hanging out whatever it was a cool vibe we were like hanging out made this song called tongue tied and we thought it was cool it was a cool vibe but then randomly like she's just like okay I, like i need to go like <laughs> like i just have to go like i'm gonna feed my dog like like one of those half assed Very excuses. clear. Yeah, just like, to what? Yeah, okay. like you go feed your dog. It's like five p.m. Like your dog's fine. It's not like fucking. So you're like, oh, yeah. she hates. And there was yeah, no, like, like was we would weird. keep being like, like, do you fuck with this? Like, do you? Because we're all like, do you even like this? And, and she's like, like, and like you know, nah, she's like, like she's it's so good. she wears her emotions like so clearly. Right. Like she can't hide her. Even like, if she's like, yeah, it's so okay. Like, you're like, like, nah, you. But like it was clearly weird. But it was weird that like it wasn't weird. Like she was being nice, but it was weird. And we're like, what the fuck? But you knew that she didn't like it. Yeah, and we're like, this is weird. The vibe was just weird. And she left, and we all looked at each other like, that was weird. <laughs> and, we're like, and we're like, okay, that cool. Sucked. And then and we're like, okay, whatever, the whole thing. And then, like, then cut to now, which is so funny. Like, that song ended up coming out with Lauren Sanderson. Lauren for Sanderson, Lauren Sanderson. Yeah. For Lauren Sanderson. Oh, shit. And so Lauren Sanderson cut that song. And then Royals now, oh, like, God. fully our, like, mommy and right like, are like beavis's yeah. little wife and like that's it's like wild, such because a it's weird... weird i usually am like yeah i wasn't there thing. though yeah, beavis wasn't even there i wasn't there oh. she and hit up cole to be in an i can't get high music video and he said no oh yeah she said she met you guys from or yeah. met you from a video yeah and it's then so like, funny sit looking back on that now because it was like she'd asked me to be in the video i said no because i at the time had been in a lot of music videos and mm. the most recent one at that time had been the uh watermelon sugar video for harry styles no way yeah and i was like now hindsight 2020 is funny as fuck but like at the time when i got casted i was told it was like a half day of work you know it would be like super in and out harry wants you to do that, whatever and so i like go do the shoot ends up being like 14 hour day yeah. so long it's in, in Malibu, in You're a like, pink speedo, videos. in a pink speedo, which honestly that only got to me because I was insecure and I was like, no, like I'd never been in a fucking like speedo, right. let alone for a photo shoot in front of like Harry Speedos Styles and two, lit. yeah, like hundred of this like production cast right. crew and the hottest models I've ever seen. And you know it's gonna like, be oh like God. a massive, like yeah. it's gonna and be it, everywhere. Yeah, like, I'm, on the cover art of the vinyl, right? I'm literally yeah, yeah. Like if you go by the vinyl, that it's all of us sitting on the lawn. It's the same thumbnail as the YouTube video, but it's like me in a pink speedo, just like he he he. I've like yeah. never like deep dived. I'm any actually of that, amazed. I've our, probably seen that. Thing. I'm amazed our fans haven't made that connection more. I I like, have a like a true bucket list item. This is something I actually intend to accomplish in this lifetime: is to get big enough to where we get Harry. To wear a pink speedo yes. and feed us watermelon yeah. 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 in our As punishment music video someday. 
So yeah. Harry Styles. Dude, I feel like he would do it because he seems like he would have such a Yeah, like yeah. It, would, it would be like for the, hilarious. it would have to be for the meme. I think it would be hilarious. Yeah, it would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Be iconic. But apparently he was a nice guy, right? Super sweet. We had lunch together. I was yeah. in my Speedo the whole time in a little robe. Nice. Was like, they was, made out. He was really, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm actually jealous. He, the, same. I, I wish that, same. <laughs> uh, that I had like a little bit more. I just felt so weak. I was like, dude, here I am in this pink speedo. Right, I mean, just like, yeah, I'm like so vul- yeah, just so vulnerable amongst all these people I don't even know, and I'm like getting. Paid Did you off. know that was the? That's what it would be before. No, they were just no. like they want you in the video, show up, and whatever they say. Basically, like at the night before, I knew a casting director who was casting the video, and she was like, "Sent your stuff in. They love your look. They want you." It'll be like a quick shoot because it was they, like only paying like a hundred bucks. Right. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'll get in and out of there. That's fine. Mm-hmm. What like hundred dollars to be in Malibu? Cool. Call times like seven a.m. They send the treatment. It's all like I couldn't even make sense of it because it's all watermelon. They're like the watermelon, the watermelon, <laughs> and the watermelon beginning, middle, end. I'm You're like, like what did I get I'm like, yeah, into? I'm like, what the fuck? So like first two like hours were there. All the girls are getting their makeup done because like their priority. And then the stylist comes out and it's me and this other kid. And they're like, they're like, okay, cool. So like, which one of you looks better in a speedo? And both of us looked at each other, just like, <laughs> what? Like, only one n- of you had to be in the speedo. Yeah, they, they only had one. And so we played rock paper scissors for it. And I fucking lost. Oh, yeah, yeah, dead ass. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Deadly so, life altering. <laughs> yeah, bro, straight up. And I was like. So of course that was, and then like TMZ leaked a bunch of like really long distance like down the beach shots of my fucking sweet cheeks and this little pink suit. So far, I didn't even get that's to keep the dude. pink suit. Yeah, that's beat. Really, they yeah. made you give it back? I had to. They that's... made me. They were like, Yeah, I've been on. They're like, wait, we yeah, need. What that. are they gonna do? Like, yeah, I'm gonna gonna fucking it. smell it. Like, right? like, <laughs> I've been on modeling jobs where they like give me underwear and socks that are like plain. Yeah. Because I didn't show up in whatever plain underwear, sure. and they take it back, and I'm like, "Hold on, please tell me, what are you doing? With you're this? gonna reuse this, like these shitty Hanes white? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, Rose. I'm like, yeah, Sadie so was, was, so was, so was telling me that lot. like, like she used to go modeling for like underwear brands or whatever, and they'd always give her all the shit, like the bathing suits, mm-hmm. and she was stoked. But then now recently. Of inflation, <laughs> I don't know, apparently, like, yeah, apparently now, like, you, they take it back all the time, and they're like, She's like, That's so sus. Like, you're like, I've you, done so, modeling gigs where they've not given me anything, and I was like, Isn't it like, but that's you should, like, they, definitely get to walk away with something, well, underwear, especially, especially, yeah. especially like, yeah. weird, as especially, especially for especially for girls, low key, too. yeah, yeah, like, guys, like, okay, whatever, but like, girls' underwear. Is like I mean, all think about all the there. models wearing, next, you know, like next time I put on someone else's underwear, I'm gonna definitely shit in it. Yeah, yeah. For sure. that is so, so they so don't easy. want it back, and I can keep it. Yeah, yeah. is that yeah. can STDs travel that way? Is that no. possible? No, no, I, I don't think it can travel through cloth. Oh, well, in theory, so. uh, I think you don't think. I think if you had a breakout. Of Maybe. genital herpes. What about crabs? You know, crabs. Or like, or like, <laughs> like do they not like, like <laughs> yeah, grab, on grab on it? But is <laughs> that free ride? Are crabs an STI? I don't know. Is that I don't infection? Know. I don't know. That would be the biggest L of all time. Like, imagine wearing a you get both for a shoot, you wear the underwear they you gave you, and you caught another model's crabs. Crabs, crabs? <laughs> dude. I don't know how Mr. It works Krabs. As far yeah, as I don't know how that works. Where's that Patty formula? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but it is weird. That is, underwear, yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird. Gross. It's yeah. Hey, what, what's what's your worst like music video experience or like any <laughs> any what is like That's a good something question. related to your like career was like the worst? It's like that was bad. I hated that. Damn. Or it's like it's even all, it's all or even positive. just an awkward moment like. With someone you aspired to meet or aspired to, have you ever had any of those? Damn, I think I've had a pretty easy ride. I'm trying to think. There has, has to be something. There has to be something. You can think about it. One time I was at Creation and uh, the drummer of Rage Against the Machine was there, and I had seen him. He like I think I was in skates Venice all the time. I would see him and the dude from Metallica, and I was like, oh, I gotta go say hi today. I was must have been like 20. I was so young, but I was like. Walked right up to his table, went up to shake his hand. I was like, yo, you're like, I said his name. And he was just like, he's like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, dude, I see you around. Like, so nice to meet you. Go. Like, (laughs) fully just like rock his coffee across the table. No. (laughs) And I go to shake his hand. (laughs) What the fuck? Bro, and I'm like. Was he like. 
bro. Dude, and I was like, oh, I, uh, uh, and I'm like, ha, ah, yeah, and I'm like, run off. I did. Wait, what? You didn't. Uh, you Dude, you just I left? didn't know. Copy? I was like, you just got left? Out of here. <laughs> you you just left? There, bro. I, was like, I was like, oh, I need a towel, please. And I'm like, and I'm oh, just dude. like, we kind of giggled about it, but he could tell, I'm sure, that I was obviously so embarrassed. Mortified. And so mortified. Like is dying the word. Yeah. Oh, you oh definitely God. didn't ruin his day because oh, no. that's just funny. I would <laughs> probably, about... probably would laugh if you, yeah. like, when you meet him again. My girlfriend probably... was like waiting for me outside. She's like, how'd it go? I was like, so bad. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Bro, I would, that would, that would haunt me. Oh, it I still does. I would think about that. <laughs> Bro, that like reminds me of like that that's like, like sick in your stomach laying in bed at night. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> dude, that's like that's like that reminds me of like this time when I was like, I was like seven, and I went over to these like these kids down the street from me, like at this like they had a lemonade stand. I thought and I thought they went to a different school, and I thought they were cooler than me, and so I went over to like, hey, like I'm like we live in the same street, like can I like come join your lemonade stand, or whatever? And I go over, and they're like, yeah, sure, like you can come hang out with us. I have to. And pee. the first Damn. thing I do is pour it limited and spill the entire jug of lemonade <laughs> over the entire oh. table and then just go okay i'm going home okay now. bye yeah. and I, then i leave Show's over. and there Sorry. are parts like that kid was a fucking nerd like i'm like <laughs> yeah. wow and like it's like literally that dude but just adult for everyone They're you like, just pull up like up hey home. you're cool <laughs> but sight like, <laughs> fuck you, all your lemonade you know what's something i i did recently by accident at coachella and i've actually done this a few times and it just is the most like gut-wrenching feeling every time i do it because it's a total accident but like I don't know. I'm around the scene. Like, there's people I haven't met, but I hear their name or know about them, or whatever. Right. And, like, I've done this twice now where I see someone that I've seen around a bunch or, like, have a bunch of mutual friends. And it's like, I know who they are. Right. And I, like, go to introduce myself, but I, like, say their name instead of no <laughs> my name. No way. <laughs> Wait, what? The fact that this Dude, I've done this twice now. I've done this twice now, and I, like, just did it. This girl was with our friends, and I was like, literally, I've seen her so many times. She knows so many of my friends, and I obviously, like, it's just like, after a certain point, it would be stupid not to know her name. And right. I, but we just hadn't formally met, right? right? And so I was like, like, for the sake of it, I'll just say her name's Sarah. It's not, but I was just like, <laughs> I like, go up, I'm like, oh, nice to meet you, Sarah. And she's like, oh, I'm Sarah too, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, oh yeah, fuck you, dude, no, no. Fuck, oh yeah, <laughs> dude, and then I because I because yeah. I, the whole thing about it, how do you come back from that? Because I can't be over. like, oh no, my name's not actually no, you Sarah. Gaslight, you gaslight, I just gaslight, knew your gaslight, name was Sarah. You just gaslight, and you go, no, my name is Cole. You misheard me, dude. I you're I said Cole. You sound crazy right now. I literally, I just like left because also my other friends who know that's not my name were around. And they're I was like, laughing. and they I'd definitely the heard, but didn't know what was going on. And I was like, That's I insane. need to go right now. This is just like, it's the same way I replace words with other words yeah. that aren't like, the word like, I'm meaning right. to say, but like you his, know what I mean. His, his self deprecation tank. <laughs> he was trying to say self-deprivation. The, the self deprivation. He was trying to. What's the self deprivation? Yeah, self self deprivation tank. Yeah. You know, you go and you're like floating, whatever. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's my self deprivation. <laughs> Just I goes in there like, and just Cole, shits all over me. Cole's, like, yeah. <laughs> Cole's the fucking like king of like we all know what he's trying to say, right. but he just swaps just things. Slightly off, it has a whole like, different meaning now. But every time now he goes, you know what I meant, <laughs> and you, you know do. You did most. I'd say ten out of ten times you know. Yeah. And maybe have you ever done that on stage? Where you're like, sure. oh, I'm sure. oh for sure. sure, or for sure, or in an interview, I'm sure I've done that. Where I'm just like, it's not, he d- it's not he the does only it. thing he's he does done it. on stage. He, yeah, he shits himself on he stage. He shit his too. pants on stage. <laughs> I have shit my pants on stage. Whoa, yeah. one song in. Were you sick? Yeah, First I was song. like, <laughs> one song <laughs> is <laughs> like that sucks, <laughs> dude. <laughs> he goes, I shit my pants. Oh, dude, we were touring. I knew it was gonna happen too. We were touring through Europe, and I had. Uh, we got sushi at this place in Germany. I'm still convinced this is where I got it. Oh, yeah. And I, like... Pro tip, don't get sushi in rural Germany. Yeah, yeah weird. Weird. <laughs> The, whole thing had, the fact that we had, like, this was the only thing open in uh, Germany. Gotcha. Like, I woke up the next day with, like, I swear to God I had to have had a parasite. Because it wasn't even just a couple days. It was, like, three weeks of, like, shitting upwards of, like, 50 to 75 times a day. Just to Uncontrollably. Add- like, it was so fucked. Just to add to this. 50 to 75 times a day? Yeah, but they weren't, like, full shits. It was, like. Imagine if you were it actually was just, like, shitting just 50 to like, 75 times. able to fart. 
Pre- There's like, no way you were gonna, no way you were gonna fart with clothes on. Oh no, definitely not. Definitely not. It was, definitely yeah. not. It's it was like, like you, rectal the toilet, and yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Just it's like, it's crazy. It's like one of those shits you have to get naked for. That's yeah. actually, yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, take all your clothes off. Curled, like, like, praying to God. It literally. So I, I, know, I gotta go take a shit really quick. Just undressing. We have this show, and I go on, and like right before we go on, I look at our team at the time. I was like, bro, you might need to get the bucket, like. I'm for sure gonna shit. I don't have like there's nothing the bucket, I can do. Like there's a it bucket bad. we carry with us. Bad. Like it was. And you go, I was in pure you go pain. hard on stage, especially like there's, <laughs> not, yeah. especially there's the, no way to like dial your shit back. And, and I like, didn't. I fucking let it rip, dog. I was like literally let it rip. Just, in my fucking. You told me on stage, which was the best part. Yeah, I was like, bro, I shit my pants. <laughs> shit my and we're like two songs in, so and literally was see you in hell. It was like it was on the like the first. Boom, boom, shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, it was. I remember it so vividly. And you just this that's rocked out. rocked it the fuck hey, out. On this same tour though, the best part was we like went to a gas station, then we left, and then right after we left, Cole goes, "I have to shit right now." <laughs> and our <laughs> tour manager was like, "We were just at a gas station, dude. It had a and, mind of its own. It was so gnarly. It was the worst pants. thing ever. Shit his pants while we're driving. While oh, we're driving. While we're so driving. We, we pull over. He." <laughs> Throws his underwear away, gets right. it all cleaned up. We get back in We're the like, car. Okay, like, Ten minutes later, the the van smells like shit again. <laughs> they go, <laughs> who shit their pants? <laughs> and I go, I I farted, but I don't think I shit my pants. And he's then like, just, he's like, nah, dude, I didn't shit my pants. I'm like, dude, it like, smells like you smells like you fucking. It just smells like a broken like, half. And you know, you know, like what? the first like like minute or two, you're like, okay, cool. Like maybe it was the fart just it's lingering. A bad fart. Ten you're like, minutes in, you're like, bro, why the fuck it does it still like smell like your fucking a baby diaper? This fart. is you. Yeah, and then I like, shit right my, after this. I shit my done. pants within thirty minutes. <laughs> both of them shit their pants. Yeah. Would you think it was a fart? Yeah, I did until you I weren't w- sick though. No, you I just definitely thought it was a fart. I, I just definitely thought it was a fart, and I wiggled a little bit and could feel it. And I was like, oh, God damn it! So we had to pull so over again rank, bro. <laughs> for the whole band just be shitting themselves. Like Cole the and I literally thirty shit. minutes. It's like when girls sync up their periods. Yeah, yeah. But you guys yeah. sync up. You guys shit. <laughs> oh in your my brain. god! It was not fire. Like at no, all. it was not good. Oh, it was really bad. Oh, that in the. What was it? An RV? No, it was a, it was a sprinter. A sprinter, a sprinter and the European sprinters have you facing each other in the back. Oh shit! So, so it's like each other in the four eyes. It's kind of like you're like a hot tub with no water. Yeah, you're know? <laughs> just hanging out. <laughs> on that, no note. one's wearing underwear. <laughs> <laughs> they keep throwing them out the window. Yeah. On that note, let's play a uh, sleepy let's head. Play, let's sleepy head. <laughs> 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 Craziest segue ever. <laughs> We're back. We're back in a big way. We're back oh in a fucking God. huge way. Sleepy head also fucks. Banger. Thank one you. of my favorite songs. Thank I've actually you. been listening to it when I go to the gym. That's one of my legend. big gym songs right now. You're a legend. Thank you. Oh, I wish I could say I was gassing you up, but I'm not. It's really good. You're it's just really fucking telling good. the truth. Yeah. Rare. Honesty hour. Rare. Wow. How much time do we have? Uh, How long have we been going? Like almost an hour. So we should. Well, it'll, we'll we'll chop it down. Sweet. But Love that. Tighten it up. Yeah. Well, we still have to get one more song in. So let's talk about something foul. Okay. Or like whatever your heart desires. I'll follow your lead. Something you don't want to follow my lead. It's always <laughs> it's a dark place. It's bad. It'll end up bad. It always goes bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. I wish but we could see a little on a, inside scoop of your mind. It's terrible. It's just hentai and yep. bento. <laughs> Futinari. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not actually. <laughs> Can I just say, Jutes, I've had some of like my best memories with you. We've had some good times. We've done like really good activities. We like don't hang out a lot, but when we do, it's a banger all the time. Yeah, like highlights of my life. I'm talking. Yeah, like, we just had so much that fun. To me. Well, he moves <laughs> on quick. <laughs> <laughs> he used to say that to me. He used to say this that guy to gets me. around. But yeah. like everything, even just like getting lunch with you and like with the homies, like yeah. I. I adore you as a human, bro. I adore you too, bro. I think you're we just gotta the hang coolest. Way more. Yeah, we should. I also miss Jackie. I know. I th- I love though, cause like. You were like, let's go get lunch. Yeah. And you brought some homies. You brought, I brought some homies. Uh, Jaffy, the fucking dog. He He's is the, the best. Man. And then you ended up doing stuff with uh, his brand. Yeah. And he's just the goat. Like, as far as like, because I was like, hey, I'm giving away. Because I did what, like maybe my first merch drop with a company. And I think they took 20% yeah. of all sales. And I was like, I'm not moving enough that I can't just be going to the post office so i was like 20 percent is like a solid enough amount i'd rather keep 20 and just be 
running to the post oh, office. Yeah, pack it yourself. It- and so I just hit him up for like he just gives me so much game on like blanks on yeah. ways to do anything. Like he's just like he's he doesn't even hesitate to just like I miss he's Jaffe. the go. He's the man. Shout he's out been Jaffe. Shout out Better with Age. Yeah, honestly, they're ripping, dude. Such a sick fucking brand, it's and they're crazy. crushing. They're like, crushing. They're really my nuts, nuts. fucking. My nuts are it. all it's over. It's so nuts. sick. Of and to crack into yeah. that world and like start winning like that is so hard they're just doing something original especially with their yeah like what they're doing though because it's so diy print on like i mean i guess basket case is pretty similar that was how they kind of got their whole yeah. jump but like like to break just, into better with age is like so of, it gotta be intensive with like the, they're making shit yeah. from other shit yeah totally like their hats said, are like carhartt jackets that they like it's like wild so Jaffe says of, the like companies that they work with to like produce it all get so pissed sometimes they're like can we make this and he's like Fuck. please you have to make it like yeah this. like yeah. it's probably each one is like everything is one, one of one, one which is so, so cool. same yeah. yeah i love their entire like vision for how they just the whole thing is just like not being real at all like yeah. do you see that article in vogue that they like made fake they're like they no posted way. this big like announcement like oh my god Vogue talked about us after New York Fashion Week but it was like a completely fake article right but it seemed real enough but I actually bought it first. <laughs> I read the whole article I'm like no fucking way that's so sick that Vogue wrote about them and, just like, and then it was just totally not real and it was just like they're like fully just like leaking fake news yeah. to like promote so their like, that shit. hilarious it's like it's awesome but it was like yeah what's their saying that I really love it's like it's not fuck the world it's do you guys know what I'm talking about? There, it's like, fuck the politics, not fuck the world. Mm, I something, know. I don't know. Something. I don't know. I don't know. I just like their mantra. They're sick as fuck, and I love that. And they're all such them. good people. Yeah, yeah. just going over Remy, there. Like, that was such awesome. an era, like the early when everything, like COVID was just ending. We were all coming out of the house, like touring with Ryan, doing that whole thing. Like I, I was having some, some pretty big nostalgia about yeah. that recently. Dude, mm-hmm. I used to go work for Jaffe. Like, I used to go oh, no and way. print for him. Oh, no way. And he would pay me out at the end of the day. Wow. Because I was so broke. That's sick. Yeah, it was sick as fuck. What a king. Yeah, it was so far. And then Jaffe, our king. Just put me onto so much sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I I want to, like, I want to start a thing. You guys have your shit. Yeah, you yeah. guys, right? Mm-hmm. And then you and Ryan obviously oh, yeah. have dumb rubber. Oh, yeah. If you want one, I have them in the car. I'll take yeah, one we're for wheeling sure. them out of our Give fucking out of the uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Take one. You gotta make it really Wheel sketchy dealing. though. Kinda like you gotta walk up like yo, you make it look yeah, like a drug shit. deal. Yeah, Quickly yeah. put it in the jacket. It's like it's like run. experiential. Yeah. It's a thing we're doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You it's should do it in front of a cop. Yeah. 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 And then like, Beepus will be the cop. And start running. So Beepus, the cop's like, I gotta chase him. Beepus is the stripper cop that comes up and he's gonna fucking. Have you guys seen that video where they're like these dudes are like on Venice Boardwalk and they're like trying to sell Coke? And they're like you want to buy some coke? It's Nelk. It's the Nelk boys. It is. Oh, and it's like in the back, it's and coke cans. It's and literally coke cans, and the cops like pull up on them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, no look, and like the coke cans. They all. used to be wild, like, because they're Canadian. So I, I knew about those guys like when they started out, and but they're so funny. They're early Nelk shit. I mean, they were the like going to Mexico shit. and doing crazy shit, and yeah, like getting like stuff like almost. They're massive, bro. Yeah, they're now they're now they're, they're, huge. they're like. They've got to be. I mean, the the Happy Dad seltzer. Yeah, they're their shit. beer. Or yeah, and the the, their yeah. merch drops are doing millions of dollars in like seconds. That's like, they must. No, be, they they've cashed out so fucking hard. But like, they came from like, they were like they were doing like uh, tours, like band tours, yeah. but just ripping it in a fucking sedan, and yep. then hitting, f- staying at frats that just loved their YouTube videos and just like Sick. living off of like two dollars a day. Just like eating the shittiest food, like going to frats, staying at the frats, making videos. They cornered at these that frats. market, like yeah. that, like college like, market. But it would just, just and it would pull up this, sh- like go to the library and fuck with kids in the library, film it. Cool, next city. Yeah. And they're all Canadian, which yeah. is the funniest thing too. Is like they're and not they, even... like lean the fuck in with the Canadian shit, like the way they talk. Dude, it's they're so and they're Canadian. weird lingo shit, like because yeah, all the American kids are like, what the fuck are you saying? They're like, which like hey, I'm like, like that's. Like that's so many people I hey, know boys? that yeah, talk yeah, boys. Like that. They said boys. Oh, the, for the boys. Yeah, <laughs> like, buddy. yeah, boys. Yeah, buddy. You have like boys. no accent. I don't know. I feel like it probably like uh, there's some words like house. When I say house, about a boot, a boot, a boot. Yeah, a boot. Like, about when you're house. not thinking about it, do you just borrow? Like, I say borrow. 
I hear yeah, it's like sorry. I say sorry. Yeah, okay. Sorry. There's, There's certain elongated. words where people are like ah Canadian. Have but you yeah. seen that girl? You. The girl that's like uh, she's like, you got me sick to me stomach, fam. Oh like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was like what is it? Uh, the fuck. Toronto accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says some man. funny shit though. Ute ting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waste ute. <laughs> oh, is ting a thing in Canada too or Toronto? It's Toronto. That okay. like accent that like Drake will sometimes kind of go into mm-hmm. in yeah. and out of. That's like Toronto as fuck. Oh, really? Because I noticed it like it's like heavy in the UK. Yeah, I thought that was British. Ting? It's like, it sounds like Jamaican. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but in, also is in there the a big UK. Jamaican population in Toronto. It, Toronto's the most multicultural city on earth. Really? Really? Fun fact. That's dope. Interesting. Yeah. So the food game is crazy in Toronto because you have like authentic Jamaican, authentic everything. everything. Yeah. Um, mm. in different pockets. You're but yeah, Soto there's. Soto? What's that? You're fuck with Soto Soto. No, what's that? Oh, uh, right. Wait, it sounds familiar. It's in Toronto. It's like a crazy restaurant out there. It's just a nice place. Is that it place? newer? Or is it? It's like there? Drake's favorite restaurant, there. right? Yeah, Drake has has hella songs about it. Like oh. I don't know. It's it's when I lived there, there's probably no way I could afford it. I is can't it afford possible? it still. Yeah. We got brought it's, there. It's definitely yeah. very bougie. Yeah, it's yeah, tight knit, yeah. but it's funny because they're like once like once you're in there, they're like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know the whole time we were there. It's the crazy. People working there. I, like, you're a band? Fuck. I clogged wow. the toilet there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. I and did. And that's why we're not welcome back. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so, soda, soda. I'm so sorry. Oh that wasn't God. my fault. You have a shitty toilet, and I clogged it. Yeah, that's right. It came with your fault. You got you to prepare for that. But you I did serve, feel legendary. Like, when it didn't flush, mm-hmm. I was like, like <laughs> I just fucking explode you knowing that drake's about to walk in there right after you <laughs> yeah yo i've sat on the same throne as drake he's probably sat on that Whoa. same fucking toilet he, yeah. he's probably, you probably got it. some of his powers to be honest not any of the good ones i'm still in the same position as i same, was <laughs> same dick size though that's true your dick got bigger after that right no it's always been at drake oh. level drake. wow yeah yeah he's got like drake definitely like, four, he's got like drake 14 level inches dong yeah you've heard of dick tape right <laughs> dick tape yeah it's like uh like lightly it's adhesive for like it's for like wrapping it around your like leg because they don't make three-legged pants like they used to this is a real <laughs> thing this is dick tape Skin yeah yeah, tape. yeah is it like what mike uses for his drums yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. it sense. just comes off easy i love that and it doesn't leave any adhesive mm. yeah we don't need to talk about that anymore <laughs> Everyone's just silent. We're like, shoot. And <laughs> like, on that what? note, a third song. <laughs> yeah. Dare I? Dare I, Sin These Father? Are on yeah. Point, it's Sex and Pal Santo. All right. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I nail it? Or did I fuck it up? <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I nailed it. All right. Let's go. I'm sleepy today, boys. I'm also sleepy. I don't know what it is. It's the overcast weather. <sighs> let's I come back. I can't do this anymore. Hey, hold on. Let's come back. And we're back. And we're back. Oh, we're <laughs> fucking so back. That Palo was sex Santo. and Palo Santo. Is it Palo Santo or Palo, Palo Santo. Santo? Paul and Santo. Paul Rudd and Santa Claus. Peter, Paul, and Santo. Yeah. yeah. I've heard of that band. Would you uh, start doing the bottom half to match the sweatsuit? Are you going to go like full I don't know. Adidas jumpsuit daddy on it? You gotta get a Nokia flip phone. It though. depends. I would if That'd I could tough. find. Bedazzled. I feel like all the Adidas pants, other than like the Balenciaga ones, they're mm-hmm. all like skinny. Yeah. It's hard to find the baggy ones. Yeah. I've also been having trouble with that because I want to. Did the corn collab have corn the baggy fire. ones? I don't. I know. think they made a skirt, which was fire. Mm-hmm. And they got the what? The shoes, the hoodie, the shirt. I don't know if they did a full blown. They did the full track suits. They did, but the. Because there's a purple one. There's a whole purple tracksuit, mm-hmm. but it's like regular Adidas fit. It. It's like sportswear. It's yeah. Not, mm. Honestly, the most legendary like collab to like finally finally happen. Yeah, like for it to happen now is yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it makes real. sense though when when you drop a song called Adidas and it's all day I dream about sex. Yeah. The brand in the '90s is did probably they like, coin that? Like, did they start that? Because I remember as a kid, people being like Adidas all day I dream about sex. I think it is has to corn? be corn. I'm sure they're the probably the ones who like Popular took it and made it, it something. You know, it's probably like a slang, and then all of a sudden right. it just was like cool. That song is fucking song. sick. Yeah, yeah. That song is crazy. Y'all want a single? Say fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. <laughs> so good. Is there Love anything corn. that you would like to lay on the table before we get out of here that we're allowed to show on camera? Oh, uh, or not? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'd like to show you my penis. <laughs> Oh, Not really. Gosh. I'm just doing. I'm just same old shit. Just dropping music. I want a tour, so 
Everyone go stream my music. Yeah, everyone. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and be on the lookout because your shit just keeps getting better. Thank you. Means a lot. Yeah. Fuck it's it, really bro. fucking who's your, good, who's dude. Your dream artist to tour with. I mean, it would obviously be insane to tour with Deftones. Mm. Yeah. Some, like, I really thought you were going to say sick. Beauty School Dropout, but Deftones is good, <laughs> yeah, too. That's, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. No, yeah, like, we got to tour at yeah. some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I get it. Deftones would be fire. Deftones would be Who crazy. Else? Um, Beauty School Dropout. Sick. <laughs> sick. Those guys fucking You're just saying that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> insane. Yeah. Uh, Love that band. Sing as a douche, know. though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's problematic. <laughs> I don't know. Deftones is a good answer. I used to always say, I used to love Third Eye Blind, mm. but I don't know if the sound I am making, but like as far as like some bucket list shit. Yeah. I loved Third Eye Blind as a kid. I was like, yeah, like Chili Peppers. Back off that ledge, Chili Peppers my so friend. friend. Chili Peppers what about, what about like, who are some bands you've been listening to that have just really been inspiring you? Like newer people, like put some other people on. Fuck. Um, I like just live under a rock. It's crazy. I don't. I check out my like, friends' like Patrick music. Star? No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the rock comes up. There's juice. Just, oh, hello. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, you guys. Sick. Gene Dawson's cool. Gene, Gene Dawson's Dawson's fire. Ecstasy's cool. Ecstasy's Sick. fire. Um, Amira El Fiki's cool. Yeah. 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 That's she just how you were at her show. Fire. Some faves. Some crowd faves right there. Yeah, just like people doing like cool alternative, like creative shit. I'm oh. Trying to think of, I, there's, I like suck at finding new shit. I want to be better at it. Mm. I feel like you're good at it. Cold. Lil Aaron is like so good at it. Lil, Lil Aaron knows about them before they start making music. Yeah, Aaron is like on the Twitter game. Like he finds shit on Twitter. Before He's it's so like, quick and early. I'm like, if I find, find something like, Twitter. like Artemis, who just blew up. Yeah. I found him in like 2021 or 2020 or something like that. Same. And I was like, this guy's really talented. And his music was a lot different at that point. Yeah. But he's like kind of just jumping around vibes every month. It was like a different vibe. Yeah. But or, I feel like. Or like the Tell Me I Pretty grunge version is crazy. Yeah. Like insane. That. So nuts. It's so nuts. The whole come up. I DM'd him like two or three months ago, I think before the album had dropped. And he like DM'd me back. And we were talking about because he was in L.A. Um and then that album came out and it was like, oh shit. And then I like the way you kissed me or no. Yeah. I like the way you kissed me dropped right after that album. And it was just like, bro, Gone. It, at that point, I think he had like maybe a million monthly listeners. Maybe right. now he's, now he's at 40. like 47 point. Yeah, like, oh, five. he's gone up. He's like, he's I almost at like 50 million. I found him listeners. like, yo, if you're ever in LA, we should write. Dude. It's Didn't nuts. even read it or anything. And then I DM'd him after I want to say, uh, I like the way Wait, you kissed he, me. He hit you up. No, I DM'd him and he never even like saw oh, okay. it or read it. And then I hit him up again, just like, "Yo, congrats, whatever." And he was like, "Bro, how did I miss this?" Like, insane. Thank oh. you. But Seems he's like just cool gone. Dude. He's like really fucking good at TikTok. I feel like the it's thing is though, the thing that's crazy is it's like, if you look at what he's doing, he's not actually doing anything. He's like, just standing like, there and here's the song. He's like, showing his music. music is really good for TikTok. Like yeah. that shit. But he he was like kind of. I remember. There was this like um, like a sharing channel called Promoting Sounds. Mm -hmm. Do you know who that is? I know that. Yeah. It was big back when like uh, SoundCloud repost was a big thing, yeah, and I've... then YouTube. There would be like for the genre I was making it was like swaggy tracks promoting sounds, and yeah. they would have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And if they posted your shit, you would get on a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but they posted about him like a year or two ago being like, yo, he's like revolutionizing promo. And it was like the first time I'd seen people doing like photo swipes on TikTok mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. like a picture of the weekend or like a picture of Drake. Yeah. And it was like going viral. And I was like, cause didn't people Wait. think, uh, he was the weekend for a second. Or well, like the Drake I think people thought that it was a Drake leak. The That's, first yeah, one. Yeah, 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 that yeah, sounds that like a kind of a Drake beat. They thought, I think they thought it was a Drake leak. I don't really know, but I just know that like that style of promo that like, Everyone does, including myself now. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like he like was the first to it. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like <clears throat> like not trying to market your music. Yeah, but, by but marketing at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's like being. But that's also that we talk about this all the time. It's like really hard to not give a fuck. So hard. You know, yeah. it's hard to be effortless, which is like it's wild. You know, I like have gone back. Like, there's been parts of my career where I'm like this person did really well. I've just got to do that. Even though I feel 
cringy and dumb doing it. And then I look back and I'm like, no, nah, I have to delete all this. Like, yeah. Cause I just can't like, yeah. so now I'm at a point where I'm like, I've never been so active on TikTok as I am now, but like, I'm just like everything I do, I have to be like in a yeah. month. Am I going to like want to shed my skin when I watch this? Like if it's, if it's just like something I can live with, I'm like, whatever. Yeah. It's funny. I definitely like my pendulum swings where I'll like be like, fuck it. We're embracing the cringe and we're like, just going to, go yeah. with what we know works and then like a month later i'm like oh, can't do it why did i ever do this yeah Fuck, it's nah. tough. It's i think like it's just good game. to always be yourself always be authentic i think also you think about like i'm sure every artist you probably talked to fucking drake at some point and he's like yeah no nah, i wish i didn't do that era or whatever of course. but it's like generally and no one speaking, thinks it, it's as cringe as you oh 100 yeah 100%, of course. But I think everyone knows what it is no yeah. one's like Whoa, they're wow. posting that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Or like it's like fucking. That's literally what it is. But so. yeah, I totally. think the thing I always try to remember is like the the artists that I love the most, and I think generally the one, people that like my people I respect and like people love mm. and kind of have that timeless aspect are always the artists that like it, they were never the ones copying anyone else. They're never the ones like oh yeah, this was a trendy thing. Like right. they were just always authentically themselves, and like they were the weird Turn ones. style. For yeah. like ten years. Yeah, exactly. Like they were the weird totally. ones that, that made it its own thing. Like fucking, like what they're like, My Chemical Romance. That's like, yeah, they were. They kind of like, yeah, emo was trendy, but like they kind of created that whole world and like really performative theatrical the emo the shit. shit. Like, yeah. I don't know, fucking like, Blink for example. Blink wasn't cool until Blink was cool. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, even Death Tones, like Death Tones. Yeah. Death Tones is almost cooler now. Like they were almost not the cool band for a long time. Like they were. They were like different. They're the black sheep, but it's right. like it was like in new metal. Like they just aren't like any of the other totally. bands. They're like, so themselves. It's yeah. almost like like too niche to like them. Yeah. But then also you look at all the other bands that were the biggest. Yeah, and I like them. Limp Biscuit, yeah, Corn. Yeah. But then they did like emo bands, like pop punk bands. Mm -hmm. Become like the biggest always become the yeah. corny ones when mm -hmm. the fades. It's, but Deftones was never corny. I think yeah. Radiohead was the never age old, corny. The yeah. age old story. It's like bands will grow. To success, Limp Biscuit at some point probably was like, "Oh, should we do this, this, and this, or whatever?" But it's like, they were. We, if you think about what Limp Biscuit is, it's like it's like rap metal shit with like weird, right. <laughs> like yeah. It sounds terrible on paper, but then it works because it's so weird. The energy, it's just pure. It like, works, fuck and then it's fucking mom. awesome, and then it's like, it's like, but that's why it's big. Yeah. and you know what I mean. And just like shout out, like. The whole band is weird as fuck. Yeah, too. you just like, gotta be fucking Fred weird. Fred Durst is like, a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, West but Borland is West Borland nice, like bro. is just another spectacle <laughs> in the lore. Like you get pulled in and you're like, holy shit! Like, what is this? And West I love that it's only him. Like, it's not like the whole band is like wearing right. paint and shit. It's like just Wes is gonna be Wes. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. Okay, but then, that's cool. so weird. Sick yeah, so random. They all awesome. look like they're in different bands. Yeah, but yeah. it makes Limp Bizkit. Exactly. Yeah. It's all this shit, but I and think they're it's bigger than everybody. ever right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 I think I think that's like the authenticity th aspect of yeah. shit is just really is one of those things where like, yep, if you can be an artist that just always like even if everyone's going this one direction, you're like, no, nah, I'm still gonna be me. It's like yeah. there's ways for that to fight through because And I've battled that for I've been doing this shit for so long and there's periods where I like want to fucking remove all the music from those eras too, because I'm like oh, I was just chasing the number one song. I wish like, it was I, that simple. I'm like take it all down <laughs> right and Fuck. like people will be like i miss your old shit and i'm like damn i can't even listen to it because i'm just not even being myself yeah. yeah we definitely feel that sometimes too yeah yeah that's like the beauty of changing though and and i guess that's also the beauty you know it's funny because it's like we feel like we're so far in but if you were to like go fast forward 25 years from now and like picturing some beginning. like teenager looking through like red hot chili peppers catalog and right. it's like it's like their early shit so different so different so and different. none of their hits like really started coming out until like what three four albums in yeah. like full length I think you kind of yeah. have to Big write albums. four albums before you realize oh I am this artist yeah. some artists obviously hit it out of the fucking park early but it, like right. even yeah. them but, like or like even like people like 1975 a band for 10 years before yeah. yeah and I think a lot of it too is it's like so long as you're linearly growing you know it's like even for us right it's like we're not massive we definitely haven't blown up by any means but we're accumulating this audience that real is like, fans yeah mm -hmm. it's like there will be a time and a place where something we do something we put out will just 
strike fucking masses. Inevitably. And, and you'll have a foundation of like, oh, yeah, exactly. The flash in the pan thing is like exciting, but, and everyone does it's, like want it's that. It's so moment. much cooler to grow but with that's the an thing. Audience. It's like looking back, it's like I talked to you about Nick Anderson, my homie in the Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nick's great. They just grinded for so long and now they're like, so self-sufficient like no one can take away their shit yeah. Yeah. i love that i always want to be able to like tell the boys i'm like it's a hit song is really cool and i think we will there will be a point where we have, have a hit, hit. yeah like sure. we're all you're gonna have a hit we're all gonna have a hit like we're gonna have all have these moments but it's really sick to be able to have touring audiences Forever. To, and for as long as you guys is, want to do touring it. is the coolest shit in the entire world yeah like let's be honest like yeah. touring just is having people fucking... show up and fucking love you guys and sing your shit is like oh it's the best yeah, yeah. it's different fucking, especially I love it. yeah I don't, like being in random ass places too like when we were touring in traveling europe so cool we played like a fucking headline show in guilford uk i'd never even not heard. a real place it's not a real place but they showed up we yep. did a headline and that's insane a few hundred kids showed up and we're like what the fuck How does we, this happen? we had a, we had our first time ever in the czech republic where they don't even speak english as their first language and there's like thousands of kids at this festival tent knowing all our lyrics i saw clips from that and we're like like, what you really it's really weird to like experience the uh like breaking the fourth wall with the internet yeah like this whole thing kind of grows and grows and then all of a sudden you're like there in real time and you're like i can't even pronounce the name of your city how do you guys know who i am you could see a million of anything on the internet and be like sick that's good yeah and then you could see 1,000 real people, and mm-hmm. you're like, fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah. Like, yeah. This shit I'm, is I'm sure you also deal with this too, like how being home or like kind of being the normal everyday grind of like, mm. cool, we're here doing whatever, it kind of feels like, yeah, like we're not doing anything. I struggle with this all the time. I'm always like, yeah. we're not doing shit right here. I'm sure like it's weird to kind of fall in the day to day thing. Right. But you realize like there is a, there's people out there that care about what we do. I, I was looking at our, the first TikTok we ever posted the other day because. We had you guys like, posted that, right? Like oh, just yeah, posted. yeah, yeah. I, I did because I, I had to go find this like thing to get our shit verified on TikTok, whatever. Like they needed it, so they had to like fi- I, try, I had to figure out when we created the account, it and was, so I went back was, to find the, the first, first video, video that we posted on in this 2020. TikTok. Yeah, yeah, because we got the other one but banned. Was, oh yeah, it's true. Oh, I forgot about that. We got the other one banned. Yeah, classic. Well, anyways, oh, well this TikTok, this TikTok we got fucking. It was what 2020. Post something. Posted this acoustic version of our song coming down before it was out. It was it a different a version. Different version of the song. It had a literally different lyrics, different hook, Whoa. like like different melody. And I'm like, this is crazy. And even I was reading the comments, and even then, still, it was like, you know, 8,000 views, but then like 60 comments, all people like, when is this coming out? And then people even coming back like, is this out yet? Like they came back months later. Right. And I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Because then it just made me go like, everything we've done, and I'm sure like you and Real people artist, are getting affected by it, been, and like yeah, they're and like- I'm, I need more of this. I'm sure like, you probably feel that from s- at some point being an artist. Like, like, wow, you go back to early shit and you you get that quick like fucking that's a raven moment. You're, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're like, holy shit, I've done all these things. Like, so much. All this shit has fucking happened. So it's much. like it's kind of you're like, all right, we are doing something. Life is good. It's fun. You know? I mean, you just kind of make it up, and yeah. you're just like, yeah. this is a weird, sick life. Yeah. You yeah. realize it's not for you, you anymore. It's like yeah. it is for your audience. The yeah. truth yeah. is, is none of us are living a, a reality that's actually real. Yeah. Like, the, the things that we're like focusing on are just like so niche and so uh, yeah so not niche. Normal. I always have to remember that like being in the position that we're at is like so fucking cool and rare Crazy. Mm-hmm. to like not take it for granted and yeah. like even the I mean when you're in high school like thinking of the shit you're doing now is just as good as it gets yeah totally oh yeah as good Touring? as it gets Dude, all you would ever want if you, know you would have told me when I was 15 that we were gonna go on tour with Blink 182 and play Mass and Square Garden like, that doesn't have to get any bigger I would have probably. There killed you because yeah. <laughs> i i would have hated you for lying to me yeah so much and then fast forward and i'm like crying right before i go on stage and i was like this shit is yeah. real that's crazy. crazy i also do the why me shit a lot i'm like this is crazy right imposter but it's cool syndrome yeah i'm imposter imposter syndrome 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 crazy real. imposter everyone syndrome. gets it oh that's it's like wow even at the fucking high level nemesis. i have uh, imposter in- syndrome about not being bigger <laughs> Like, why am I not fucking reverse bigger imposter yet? Yeah, yeah. syndrome? I'm like reverse <laughs> syndrome. I'm like, why are we not bigger yet? <laughs> like, actually, though. On on a, a very real note, we should wrap it up because we went very long today. We did go very. But long. thank you, thank for you being guys. here for, for going brother. long. Yeah, it was a great time. You thank you, Juice. Long. I didn't want to wrap you. it up, but 
We he should, never wraps always it up. should wrap Beavis it up. Pull out either. I have to pee again. <laughs> I can dude. see it. You're just like fucking Dude, vibrating. I'm <laughs> jittery and I'm shit. vibing. No. Uh, yeah, bro. Jutes, I fucking love you. I we love all love legendary. you. Thank you for legendary. Thank you for being here. Legendary, iconic Thank you for coming. Thank you. This yes, has been sir. Out of Pocket with Jute Dollar Sign. Jute. Yep.